I think uh, nowadays more and more we see uh, talent is mobile. Uh, and the question then becomes, especially if you're a large organization, how do you um, attract and retain talent from other parts of Africa, for example? How do you make them want to come uh, to Uganda, for example, and, and work in an organization? How do you, because acquiring talent is uh, in many ways for, for a board easier than retaining uh, talent. So many organizations try to to be everything to everyone, to attract talent. Um, and my personal view is that the, the, a mix is good. So you may not be the highest payer, uh, and you may not uh, be, have the, the number one culture. But in the end, if you do attempt to be very good at all the metrics, you find uh, that you could well be number one. I mean, if, if I use the tennis analogy, uh, you may not be the best hard court player or the best clay court player. But if you are number two uh, or run up in all of the four grand slams, you're likely to become world number one. So that's, that's the analogy. Um, unfortunately, I think in many cases, the organizations that do not go far are the organizations that focus purely on compensation. So not work towards building uh, a very strong culture. I mean, I think everyone in the room has worked in places where uh, the, the boards are wondering why are we losing people? They're paying extremely well, yeah. uh, but the culture doesn't, doesn't quite work. And it's, it's, it's two-way. Many times the culture is okay, you're just in your process of recruiting for that particular culture. The people you recruit in are not uh, very good for that culture. So it's not the organizational culture that's wrong, it's just that in the process of recruiting that fit was not quite, uh, was not quite good. So um, that would be the first point I would, I, would, I would make. Secondly, in the governance structures, we also see uh, the way organizations work is changing, uh, changing very rapidly. Now you'll find uh, if Felix is not tech savvy, uh, he'll struggle to oversee a team that's relying heavily on tech. I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying I'm not tech savvy. <laughs> And I'm not saying I am either. But uh, it, it, is, it is a bit of a challenge. And then you find many times uh, I may well be overseeing teams, as Josephine mentioned, that are 20 years younger than me. So how do I relate to them and, and make the organization relevant for them? Or how do I also incorporate their input uh, into, into that boardroom dynamic where uh, we're sitting at, at the board uh, table and we're all over 50? Uh, but 75% of the staff are, are 30 and below. So that's also a challenge. Um, I think uh, the one thing that really is going to be tricky, uh, but we'll have to find a way of achieving, is trying to get uh, the ethics and integrity of the people we onboard uh, right. Uh, it's also the hardest thing to really measure in an interview process, but, but in the end, that's really what makes or, or breaks an organization. Yeah. Uh, those things you can't see in an interview uh, from a CV, uh, like you read out our CVs, but no one in the room would be able to tell, are these guys on that podium ethical or not? Yes. We just look like, like people who have a long CV. Yeah. So but what does that mean? Uh, and I think everyone who works in a financial institution understands this very well. You know, you can have 15,000 people, one bad apple and you're all over the news. Yes. Yep. And then everyone is wondering what's going on there, and yet it's really, so the capacity of, of each individual you hire to really bring an organization down is also what's very scary uh, nowadays. And technology helps people grow, but it can also help um, uh, unethical people who are more e you be become more efficient yes. uh, in their operations. So um, I, think, I think the trends we're seeing are really related to those three things. So tech, ethics, and also how we use diversity to build strong organizations. Okay, interesting, interesting insights, Felix. Thank you so much. Mobility is going to be key. Mm -hmm. And borderless countries, hopefully Africa is going to be one Africa mm -hmm. one day, and we won't need visas to go to some of our countries. Mm -hmm. 